I'm itching to stream again. It's been a couple weeks without internet of any kind. I also want to see how streaming works in my new condo. Hopefully nobody hears me. I don't think there are any shared walls in the room I'm in, or if so, it's kind of far away and hopefully thick enough that no one will see, <laughs> or rather, no one will hear. Anyhow, welcome to the stream, everybody. We're finishing up Paper Mario, the level zero run tonight. So level zero means every time I level up, I have to level up BP, or now in this case, I have to level up FP. I'm not allowed to use more than five FP at once. Uh, if I run out, if I'm, <laughs> if I want to use more than that, I have to refill my FP, so I basically have to treat it like I always have 5 FP. I can only use free BP at once, and I can't equip badges that cost more than 1 BP to equip. And last time we defeated the Crystal Cane, so we only have the final chapter left to do. So that'll be fun. Let's see what that's all about. Meanwhile, in Bowser's Castle. Oh, Mario, I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew if I was helping him at all. Of course you are! Mario will be fine. You should be proud of your efforts. Mario knows all you've done. And don't you worry, Princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before I'm home. <laughs> I hope you're right, Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Let's go back to the room, shall we? Nice view on the balcony, though. Oh, Princess Peach, your cuddly old Bowser's here! <laughs> your cuddly old Bowser. He's he's very cuddled. cuddly, isn't he? Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see you smile! I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill! You're stuck with me for a long, long time, beautiful! You better get used to it! Mario's coming, Bowser, and you can't stop him. <laughs> oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with this star rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history. Get over it. Your raunchiness, we have an emergency. Uh, it better be important. I'm in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Uh, Mario has now saved all of the star spirits. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? Ah, Mario! Okay, listen, Kami Koopa. Send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come here with me to watch? You could have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. Hey, Proxima, welcome to the stream. You! Yeah, you! Tie her up immediately! If she gets out this time, heads will roll! Yeah, they, they've only let her go like seven times before now. <laughs> no, please! You big Koopa! Show some respect to the princess! What is this whining little glittering thing? Confetti? Gah, buzz off! Twink! Take the princess! Now, let's move! No! I, I'm not even gonna try to do a Peach voice. My female voices don't do well. <laughs> My name is Kalma. Mario, well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all of us, Star Spirits. We are in your debt. Now all that is left for you to do is to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. Actually, it will not at all. To bring back the Star Rod, to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom. And to save Princess Peach. We get the last power that we are never going to use. It, uh, we go up to seven star energy, we can now use Up and Away, a new star spirit power. With Up and Away, you can turn all enemies into stars. Or we could just run away. Mario, you must make your way back to Shooting Star Summit. Yeah, 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 and then we can get to the final area. I only wish it for you to save the world. Well, that's everybody's wish, isn't it? All right. So, I have a jam and jelly, and I still have four life streams left. That's good. Oh, let's equip our badges. We don't need Power Smash anymore. Instead, we'll equip our Speedy Spin. Oh, much better. Yay! 
Yeah, might as well pick up the Ultra Shroom. Snowman Doll can stay, Pebble can stay as well. Oh no, hi White Clover. I don't really want to fight you. Yeah, we now have 10 FP as opposed to 5, but I have to treat it like I only have 5. Them's the rules. I have more money than I thought, considering I'm trying to avoid all common enemy fights, which are the main way you get money. I have a shockingly high amount of money. I love speedy spin. Oh, ha! No one licks Mario and gets away with it. Nobody. And not worth it. I can always get more money by selling things like my Ultra Shroom. Actually, I will probably be doing that, because the Ultra Shrooms are no better than Super Shrooms for in this playthrough. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys appear on this path now that Junior Troop is gone. Bye, Gulpids! I really like the design of Gulpids. They're cool enemies. They should get brought back in other Mario games. That's how it's done. Alright, how many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can hold ten items, so I guess I'll be stopping off at the shop before taking a nap. Hey, dude. Uh. Oh, wow. Nice stuff. Oh, uh, check my life stream. Actually, check a few live streams, just in case. After you open the way to Shiver Mountain with the snowman, if you take a nap in this, uh... If you take a nap in this inn, you will get a very special surprise. Mario! I took a nap, and when I woke up, there were all these items! And it was the weirdest thing! The floor was all wet, as if snow had melted everywhere! Do you think someone left these as a present for you, Mario? But who would do that? The snowman that we gave these scarves to. So we get an Ultra Shroom and four mushrooms. The mushrooms are actually going to be more helpful to me than the Ultra Shroom is. Because <laughs> the mushrooms can be turned into life shrooms. Alright. Whee! Hopefully we won't have to do a whole lot before we are going to the final world. Like, I, I think I'll make, like, a couple life shrooms, but for them, and maybe I'll buy a stone cap or two, but honestly, I feel like I have, I'm pretty much set for the final world. Hey, Taste Tea. Mix my ultra shroom. Nope, not a life shroom. No, 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 no. That is bad. <laughs> That would have been really bad. I think that would make nothing. Hey, Rolf. Rats. Nothing that I can benefit from. Remember, folks, the beginning of the stream is always the most boring part. Alright. So what do I have in the store here? Oh, cool. Do I have any Koopa leaves? I don't think so. Oh, I have a stone cap here as well as three repel gels. Nice. I should also probably have some FP. Well, I have maple syrup in there. Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> I'm used to 100% playthroughs where I always check Rofe's shop, because I gotta buy all the badges he gets in circulation. Alright. Here's what I actually want to do. I want to make two Jelly Ultras. Those sell for so much money. Do -do 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 
<laughs> I actually, I don't even really know why I'm making those. I really don't. Because I don't need cash. I've got plenty of cash. I guess I'll store them just for later. They're fun items to have, anyways. Alright, so now we have five mushrooms. I guess, we'll, I guess since we have them, we might as well go and make five more life shrooms. All we have to do is get ten Koopa leaves. And then it'll be off to the final world. That's one. Hi, Chuck Quizmo. No, I'm not taking the quiz today. Star pieces are worthless. We'll have to make two trips, because I'm too lazy to keep storing and retrieving items. Second, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I only have four mushrooms. The fifth one was the ultra shroom. So I actually only need three more Koopa leaves, not five. Oh, I know what I can use my, the rest of my, uh, money on. I just love how Watt lines up perfectly to be on Mario's face during these cooking segments, so it looks like Mario has Watt's face. <laughs> what can I spend my last 200 coins on? Pocket pigs. That's what. And the simple reason, I could get a repel gel out of this. Looking for a mystery little oink. Which are pink with question marks. <laughs> I like to think that this is a commentary on modern games that have microtransactions. Even though this came out way before those games. Premonition, okay. I wish there was a way to get all of the prizes in the little wink pen at once.
Okay, the silver ones give jam and jelly. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, those have no use for me. I need repel gel. <laughs> I'm just giving this toad, like, hundreds of coins, buying pigs that hatch out of eggs. Basically, webkins. <laughs> hey, look, it's a life shroom! That would be a lot more tempting if I couldn't make them for the low, low price of four coins. In fact, this is probably the most expensive way in the game to get a life shroom is for the little oinks. <gasps> there we go! That's what I was looking for. The mystery little oink. If I get two, that would be fantastic. If this next one is also a mystery little wink, that would be so wonderful. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe I should have instead calling us uh, instead of calling this the final showdown, I should, probably should have called it "We b We Buy a Lot of Pigs." Also, the, it looked like that pig left behind bacon, but that's actually a, a dried mushroom. The more you know. <laughs> this is going to take almost all of my coins, but oh well. <laughs> it's kind of weirds me out that there is a toad in this village that has a house with a pig on it that if you pay 10 coins you can hit a switch and it pops out an egg that hatches into a pig. Like what kind of genetic engineering is going on in this barn? I really don't know. And I probably don't want to find out. <laughs> Trust me, the repel gel is going to be worth it, because I have a feeling the final boss is going to be pretty darn tricky. <laughs> Either this one or the next one, where it's gonna cause the mystery little wink to run away, and I'll get a repel gel. Oh, sweet! I get a jam and jelly and a repel gel. Bye, little piggies. Alright. <laughs> that was actually worth it. I will happily spend 200 coins on a repel gel. <laughs> they are so freaking good. Alright, back to make three more life shrooms, and then I'll store and take some stuff from the shop, and we should be good to go. Honestly, one of my favorite parts of this game is the recipe system. 
and getting to like mix up items together to create cool recipes that really help you out in battle. Seriously, one of the most addicting parts of the game for me. Then again, I like cooking in real life, so... Oh, also, I never asked, how's the volume level? It should be alright, but I don't really know, because I have the stream muted, so you don't hear echoes. Volume's fine, cool. I feel like I'm talking more quietly than I usually do just because I'm testing out the new condo. <laughs> Almost used jam and jelly there. No, don't want to use jam and jelly there. Thank you, Taste Tea. Enough is enough. Let's actually go to the final world. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up to Starhaven. We seven star spirits will be waiting for you there. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the Star Rod Bowser holds. Well, that's a relief. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Starhaven. Okay, but can I stop by the shop up here and get some items first? Yes, that is okay. <laughs> So we encounter a couple of enemies up here. These are embers. Let's try to avoid them if we can. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> what you gonna do to me? I'm flat broke. Almost. I love this town, even though there's hardly anything here. This stuff is cheap, by the way. Alright, I am going to check my jam and jelly. I am here to claim the stone cap for one, and my remaining repel gels. And I guess some maple syrup. Never hurts to have some FP refilling stuff, because that's the one thing I lack. On to the sanctuary. Well, this is a fancy place. Hey, dude! <laughs> Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. <laughs> I'm using all the hip lingo that, that these kids nowadays are using. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. The star bathtub, I mean. Mario can now use star beam! If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah yes, and one more thing, I have one final gift which should come in handy. This is the Star Bathtub. He 
you can just create a bathtub out of nothing. <laughs> hey, Mobius! Welcome to the stream, and thank you. I'm glad to be streaming again. This is the legendary Star Bathtub of Starhaven. Bowser's keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard onto Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Well, I only use, like, three of them, so... Are you ready to take off? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Bo in here. Because I usually have Watt out or Goombario. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true. Me too! I want to see the princess! I want to see the princess! I want to see the princess! I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake! This kid is literally me. <laughs> Except I don't like mushrooms. Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes! Pretty please! <laughs> I'm a simple man, I just need shroom cake. <laughs> oh, I should have made some shroom cake before- actually, no. Getting shroom cake would require me defeating the Shy Guys. A bit weird that the mushroom likes eating mushroom cake. <laughs> Chapter 8, a star power showdown. I mean, to be fair, the toads aren't actually mushrooms, they just... I'm not sure if that's their heads, or if they just all wear hats that look like mushrooms. I think that's their heads. Normally I'd save, but I have so many life shrooms on me that it's not gonna be a problem. Oh, that's right, I forgot there's a required fight up here. Gotta break out the what? Alright. For this fight, let's take on... Quake Hammer. And here, we'll change to Bow. Hey, bro. Oh! Ouch. Well, Starstorm's pretty nice. I guess I could use Up and Away for these fights. It just takes so much star power. It takes all... It takes six. I'll think about it. Out of sight. <laughs> hey, where'd it go? <laughs> They're just so surprised. They have 8 HP apiece. Yes, I am a nerd for having memorized that. And we get ourselves a castle key. That's what we needed. Well done, Quake Hammer. You may rest now. The last dungeon is pretty awesome, but it's also huge. Really long and huge. <laughs> we are playing with serious fire right now. Oh, come on, you gotta move, dude. He's going, <laughs> no, I saw something. <laughs> that guard actually had intelligent AI. Who would have thought? Oh no, hi, Hammer Brother. I really don't want to fight you. <laughs> Hammer Brothers are very difficult enemies. Oh yeah! Blah. What kind of a welcome is that? Blah. Welcome, worm. I'm called the Guard Door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm. You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Well, yeah, that would be pretty nice. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Is this gonna be a trick? Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay. Then, I'll let you go through. Whoa! 
ha ha ha! You fell for it, worm. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like, all you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ha 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 I know you'll never make it. I'm just glad you're- I, I hope you're down there having a good time shaking and crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're evil, we get it. Oh no, how, how can we get out of here? <laughs> like that. There we go! It's a piece of cake to break through these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Cooper Bro's fortress. You're really lucky to have me alone, aren't you? Yes, I am, but sorry, Bombette. You're not a very useful partner in this run. Now I will save. Also, going back to the shroom cake, mushroom cake would be terrible. Mushrooms are savory. A mushroom cake would be awful. Now, zucchini cake. Zucchini cake, if you've never had it, is actually quite delicious. You can't even taste the zucchini if it's made correctly. Whee! Hey, Lackalester, we actually need to use you. For, like, two seconds. Hey, Tomato Watcher, welcome! You're just in time. It's for the actual exciting part. You basically just missed cutscenes and me uh, buying a bunch, a bunch of pocket pigs. Nope, not, not a typo. They're, they're pigs that hatch out of eggs. It's quite something. And hey, Nessie's here too! Alright, it's a party now. <laughs> yeah, the little oinks. I spent, I spent literally 200 gold coins on little oinks. But it was all worth it because they gave me a single repel gel and a jam and jelly. Even though I'm not actually going to use the jam and jelly. Unless I really, really stop for cash. Look at all these items we're not going to pick up. Alright, Bo, your time to shine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you've watched Strider 7X's videos. Yeah, th those are entertaining ones. <laughs> He knows, like, I, I, have, I considered myself an expert on the game. No, he's in a completely different category. Oh, also, we're coming up on a boss fight. Hey, bros. Oh, M Mario is right there. Now what are we supposed to do in this situation? Can't be Koopa told us something, but I'm trying to total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no, no. Do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us, even though he's level zero. Stop your belly aching! Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch. Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> we have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be... Attack! Oh yeah, I, that was the first Strider 7X video I saw, where it's like, hitting the block for five years will crash the game. Alright, well, two Star Storms should end this fight pretty quickly. Thankfully, Bowser conveniently puts quite a few beds in here for you to take naps on. <laughs> Oh, 416 years, sorry. That's a little longer than five years. <laughs> I forgot Magi Koopa could heal. Fortunately, I think that a second Star Storm will still kill them all. It'll certainly kill the Koopa Trolls. I'm not sure if it'll kill the Magi Koopa, though. Or the one where it's like baking a cake for like eight years is perfectly acceptable. 
<laughs> Possibly my favorite one of his videos, though, was about Mario Party, where it's, like, incredibly stupid luck in Mario Party, and it's, like, in the span of four turns, they get, like, six hidden block stars. It's insane. Sorry, Super Shroom, don't need you. <laughs> and just turning off the lava supply in, in, in immediately cools the floor. Phew! Finally, that hot lava cooled off. Now you can walk on it, Mario. All the difficult obstacles in this castle are really starting to irritate me, you know. Whatever, let's get a move on. Time for some lava walking. Never heard Bo say that. How, how long would it take for boiling hot lava to cool down to just rock? A lot, I would assume. Castle Key. One other thing I'm going to get before I go further. If we backtrack to the beginning of the dungeon, we can get the final badge in the game we can actually use. I'm not sure if I actually will use it, but there's a chance I will. It won't hurt, at the very least. <laughs> That's where we broke out of jail. I love Speedy Spin. Why did they take spinning out of Paper Mario Fast in your door? That's like one of my only complaints of that game. And we get the, another Deep Focus badge, which is actually... <laughs> its sprite is for a different badge that was edited out of the game, but it actually is just a Deep Focus badge. So now we have three of them, so if we want, we can use all three of our BP to equip those and get our star power back by running away from battles repeatedly. Again, not sure if I'll actually put that to use or not. Because that will literally only be useful if I have all three of them equipped at once. But I figure it might as well. There's no harm in trying. Do 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 do. Alright, now I believe this is the dark part of the... Yep! This is where we're going to use Watt, and only Watt, so we can actually see. And avoid the bony beetles. Bowser, are you aware that your castle is, like, literally a cavern? Seriously, Bowser's Castle is enormous in this. I'm not, like, complaining or anything, because it's a really cool dungeon and a great final dungeon, but... Holy cow, he might want to scale back next time. <laughs> There's a cavern in your castle. I love that kid's book. This is where speedrunners would be like, oh, you still need a watt in order to see... I'm sure they can do this without needing to actually see using Watt. I... Nope. Mm -mm. No, no. Paracarry is, like, basically useless in battle, but he's dark on it. His overworld ability is needed so much. Uh-oh. I'm not in a good position. I'm in a better position now. Heh, <laughs> didn't even need paracarry. Oh, hi! Oh, sweet. Thank you for just rolling underneath my feet. Oh, really? Oh no, oh no, mm, that's not good. Mm -mm. Nope, a lot of nope. <laughs> Whew. 
I have no interest in fighting you, Mad G Koopa. They're probably some of the- they're definitely some of the most dangerous enemies in this dungeon. This is weird. We can go in front of this, but we need to push it in order to actually go anywhere. Doesn't make sense. What? You came back? You escaped from that underground jail? But there was no way you could escape! Well, of all the dirty tricks. I guess I have to keep my word. You can go through. But don't think I'll forget this. Well, Bowser Door is a man of his word. And now we're about a third of the way through the dungeon. <laughs> oh, we have to fight an enemy in order to... Ugh, I forgot, we need to fight enemies in order to get access to the beds. Sorry, no can do. I think we're through pretty much all the forced fights anyways, so... Also, I like how the fervor in the dungeon you get, the more ominous the music gets. No, no, no. Oh yeah, I, I really like this series of rooms. It's always been these have always been some of the most memorable rooms in Bowser's Castle for me. <laughs> it's like Bowser's giant bathtub. Oh, <laughs> no worries about the phone keyboard. Yeah, I miss type buttons all the time. I need, just need a bigger phone or smaller fingers. One of the cool things about Bowser's Castle is that it really makes you use all of your partner's abilities. Well, with the exception of, like, Goombario, but there's no way to force you to use his ability. Actually, wait, can you go in here? No, alright. But thus far, we've used, like, everyone's ability. We've had to use everyone's abilities except Cooper's and Goombario's. This is just a really cool set of rooms, you know? I really like them. Bowser's Castle is just a very well-designed dungeon. It never really feels tedious or like, oh, this is the worst. It's always just like, oh, they keep shaking it up and it's great. And the fact that the music just, like, progresses to be more and more ominous as it goes on, just the icing on the cake is fantastic. I guess there it is a bit annoying that we have to backtrack now, but... Actually, they could have put in another... They could have put in another uh, plug in that room to drain the water. <laughs> yeah, Bombette's great. <laughs> I just wish that we used her more in this playthrough. If I'm playing casually, Bombette's one of my favorite partners. But in the level 0 run, she's not terribly great, because all of her abilities require you to use a lot of FP. And I don't have access to a lot of FP in this run. So instead, my, my best bets are Bow and Watt. Bow because she has her pretty cheap to use out of sight move, which makes me invincible for one turn. And Watt because she can pierce defense with her generic attack that costs zero FP. Alright, what's the next room? Oh, that's right. Oh! Oh, I forgot about the bombshell bill blasters. How did I forget about the bombshell bell blasters? All right, we're gonna need what I think.
Yikes! Well, you know what this time it is. It's time for... Mega Rush. Wait, what the heck? I'm sorry, what? Why did it not give me the first strike against the Bombshell Bill Blasters? Actually, wait a second. This could work. Oh, sweet! I don't even need to fight them. I didn't even realize you didn't need to fight these guys. Doggone it! And I'm really bad against, about defending against these. <laughs> I'm literally out of money. I have no coins left. Here, that's what I wanted. Oh, hi, Magic Koopa. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. <laughs> oh, hi, Dry Bones. Alright, gotta find the health room. I thought for sure I was gonna have to fight a whole bunch of those bombshell build blasters. I had to fight zero of them. Which is good. Although I had to use a life shroom. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> a chair! Yes! <laughs> oh, well, that's just not fair. <laughs> and yet, I still avoided it. Suck it. <laughs> that that hammer bro he's like oh I've got this I've got this y'all listening and he did not later hi bony beetle yes I think I will save even though I used up a life shroom It's number door number two. Gro oh, who would have thought you could make it this far? You won't make it any farther, because unfortunately for you, I won't let you pass. Gro but I guess if you really want, I'll give you one chance. Because I know there's no way you'll make it anyway. Wanna give it a shot? Gro this is completely pointless, but I suppose I'll let you try. Because of course I have such a kind and generous heart. Just joking, worm. These guys keep calling me Worm, are they Whizpig? Now, Mario, do you want to know what I've got in store for you? No. Okay, smart guy, let's get going. We got three Dark Koopas and four Goombas. Time's up. Now, tell me how many Koopas there were. Three. Uh, you're right. That question must be way too easy. Now they'll be harder. Next question. Oh, shy guys! We got three green, four blue, or four green, four blue, three red. Time's up! Now, which were there three of red? Yeah, if you get free, if you f get free Ron, you have to fight free anti guys at the same time. The toughest fight in the game. But if you beat them, he'll let you through. I did that on my channel actually. <laughs> I used like all my repel gel for that fight. Uh, that question was way too easy. Now they'll be harder. Next question. 
Two red, four blue, two green. GRB in the order. Time's up. Time's up, you suck. Now, who came out of the middle entrance? Those are the red shy guys. Ugh, you're right. That question must be way too easy. Now they'll be harder. Okay. Alright, we got a single Goomba. No, two Goombas. Three blue shy guys, one green shy guy, and four Koopas. Two Goombas. Three shy guys, four Koopas. Now, how many Goombas were there? Uh, two. Uh, right answer. Ah, I can't believe you've gotten four questions right. All right, enough of this. I'm going to quit messing around and ask you a really hard one. Next question. A Goomba, a Koopa, a Dark Koopa. Time's up. Now, how many arms did you see? Uh, four. Goombas don't have arms. Ah, correct! I can't believe it! You got five of my super duper brain busters right! I've been defeated by Mario! Oh, the shame! What are you talking about? Mario's a great guy. Not missing any HP. Maple syrup's a little better than Super Shrooms, because Life Shrooms are just better versions of Super Shrooms. There's jam and jelly down there, but Maple syrup is just as good. Thank you, Bo. I love you. <laughs> oh, and now the music gets really epic. <laughs> Alrighty. This is a cool puzzle. Oh, all that for an Ultra Shroom? I can't believe I'm saying this, but goodbye Ultra Shroom. It feels blasphemous just to even say. I just realized, is there only one Bowser shop do I have to backtrack all the way down to the second floor of Bowser's Castle just to access the shop? I hope not. to do the puzzle the intended way when you have the speedy spin badge. Oh man, if I have, if I have to backtrack just to access the Bowser shop, that's going to be very annoying. Maybe I'll be able to clear Bowser with it. Well, well, we'll see. All right, up, down, down, up, down, up.
<laughs> oh yeah, trial and error the first time you did this. I'm sure that's not an uncommon way of doing it. The torches tell you the order, though. I mean! Oh yeah! I forgot about this part! <laughs> I totally forgot about this room, but this is a great room. Oh, Al, please don't! How could you? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, Mario! You came to rescue me! Thank you so much! Oh, me? Oh, I just saw a chance to get away from Bowser and I ran! There's no need to fight him because I'm already safe. See? No need to fight. Let's hurry up and go home. I'll be right behind you. So Peach follows us, but... Oh, what? What's wrong, Mario? A suspicious guy? I, I didn't see anything. Maybe it was your imagination. Huh? You what? You want to save the people in Peach's castle? Who cares about them? <laughs> I like to think that this is actually not out of character for Peach to say. She's like, who, gets, who gives a rip about them? Oh, what? What's wrong, Mario? I didn't see anything. <laughs> How could you? You're so cruel, Mario. Why do you want to hurt me? I want to tell King Bowser you're treating me like this. <laughs> no, stop it! Please don't! Help me, King Bowser! <laughs> I said cut it out! Oh, wait. Ah, shoot! I wonder how you saw for my disguise. It was perfect. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. I'll just beat you up instead. Oh, I just realized I should have Gumbario out as my partner. Oh, well, this is a welcome surprise. Uh, yeah, hi, Mario. <laughs> yes, I want them all to copy Mario because he's a terrible partner in the level one run. Oh, I was not prepared for that. Nor was I prepared for that. Ouch. <laughs> Goombario? <laughs> yeah, if they've turned into Goombario and I'm in danger, they can't do anything against me. I don't like that last guy, though. I really hope the last guy turns into Goombario. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'm dead. Of course he didn't. So now I had to waste a life stream on this fight. Brilliant. Should have used Refresh. Alright, well, bye to that Goose Duple Ghost. None of them have tried tattling against me, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> there are some partners you really don't want to go against if, uh, for the Duple Ghosts. Watt comes to mind, because you can't, like, do anything to her. Uh, also, besides Watt, Bombat's not a whole lot of fun, because she can blow you up. How did I forget about this Duple Ghost part of the yeah, Bowser's Castle? This is one of the best parts of Bowser's Castle. <laughs> I am gonna get so many star points for this. 
I'm gonna focus. Might as well. No. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about doing a level zero run. You get so many star points uh, for defeating enemies because you're really weak. All right. Well, I only have I think two life shrooms now, which is a shockingly low amount. Shoot. Wrong partner to have out. How in the world did you get this far in the castle? Congratulations. But this is the end of your adventure, I'm afraid. I've got much better defenses than the other guard doors do. As in, I actually have them. Your luck has just run out. Come on, boys! Here come the Koopa Bros! I bet you never thought you'd see us again, huh, Mario? You do remember who we are, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's right! We were too cool to forget! A lasting impression! Yeah, bring them back in other games. Now they're going to beat you within an inch of your life! Feel like running away, worm? Tell you what, if you beat them, you can go through here. Of course you'll fail. But at least you can try. <laughs> Don't think we're like before. We've increased our power beyond our wildest dreams. After you've trounced us, we learned a new technique and trained all day, every day, in the jail cell. We're not just the Koopa Bros. We're the super ultra mighty Koopa Bros the Great. Check out our coolness. Huh? Wah! I found you, Mario! Wah! At last, you're mine! It was a pain finding you, you know. Today, at long last, I'll settle my score with you. Shoot, I didn't unequip Speedy Spin and actually equip something that's useful. Here it comes, Mario! This is the final fight! Only one of us is walking away from this battle! Oh boy, and I don't have a lot of star power either. Full nine yards, I guess. Might as well tattle, I guess. It's Junior Troopa again. I just want to see his HP. Okay. So at this point, each of my jumps is going to do three. And this will do... Oh, same damage regardless. Hmm... Watt. Watt's gonna be a better partner. <sighs> yeah, he's determined to sec. I actually like Junior Troopa. I basically see him as like a better version of Bowser Jr. Okay. I do have enough star power for chill out now, which will be nice. Chill out! Everyone's... Well, my new favorite star spirit for boss fights. <laughs> he can still damage me after all that? He shouldn't be able to. He has 8 attack power. Oh, wait. 8 attack power subtract 3, 5 divided by 2. Never mind. I didn't do my math right. I was having his attack before subtracting from uh, free from it. Darn it! Okay, try this on for size! Ultimate power! Ouch. Okay, he's serious. Okay. Well, at this point, Mario can't do anything. I literally am incapable of attacking him, so that's fun. So now at this point, I think I'm going to equip the Stone Cap. I think this is a good phase to use Stone Cap during. This 
This is this is gonna be a really tough fight, actually. Cause I think I'm out of life streams now. Shoot! Okay, maybe something else. How about this? I've never seen him do that attack. I've only seen him do the like multi-attack. Alright, I think I might Yeah, I'm out of life streams. Fun. Alright, let's chill him out now. use a Repel Gel. And I won't have to. Yeah! You've still got some skills! Oh, it's a good thing I defended against that. Goodbye. <laughs> wow! That was really close. That was way too close for comfort. Did I save right before this? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. If I hadn't saved before that and I lost, that would be terrible. Darn it, darn it, darn it! Don't think you've won, Mario. I swear to you, I'm gonna beat you so bad next time. Gosh! Um... So since you beat the guy that beat the Koopa Bros, does that mean you beat the Koopa Bros? No, you beat him, he beat them, but you didn't actually lay a finger on- ah, It's too confusing! Okay, fine. I guess there was no big difference between that guy and the Koopa Bros. You can go through. It's not possible for you to beat King Bowser anyway. I'll let you have the honor of being beaten personally by the evil King Bowser. Lucky you. Alright, now comes the question, do I want to backtrack all the way back to the beginning? Or not the beginning, but pretty close to the beginning to get go to the shop. I believe the answer is yes, because I've got a lot of life shrooms there. Hi, bro! Yeah, I'm going back to the second floor. Literally... <laughs> Using an underpowered attack against a boss with 1 HP is always fun, indeed. I did that just to show off. Bowser really likes his infinite mazes, I've noticed. Hi. I don't really want to deal with you. <laughs> I love how I have no money. None at all. Oh, does this mean I have to backtrack through the Bombshell Bill Blaster area again? I think it does. This leads to another bed, not... Yeah, that leads to a bed, not a shop. Ah, bother. Actually, that was door number two, so maybe I'm closer than I thought. <laughs> Gotta go for this set of rooms and the bathtub room. Yeah, and these rooms. Bobber. Paracarry is actually kind of useful. <laughs> Thank you, Paracarry. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that is like the most useful I've ever seen Paracarry outside of when he's required. Actually, I've basically 
had a use for every partner. I think Cooper is the only one you don't need to use. I haven't used him. Because you don't need to use him, and I haven't found any use for him in battle. Alright. Yep. <laughs> it was a long way to backtrack, but here we are. Bowser's shop. What? Who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? Heh, <laughs> just joking. I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, if you got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. I don't, but sure. <laughs> you think I'm stupid, man? You're a terrible liar. <laughs> Wait, do I actually need a coin? Do I, ac I actually need a coin? I could sell you something! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, wait, no, that won't work. He's gonna just drop a key, not coins. I'm actually gonna kill an enemy! Which I know kinda goes against the rules, but... Not the one I want. It. Oh, okay. No, not Starbeam. Up and away. We actually will be using this! And you guys get to see it. I can't believe the guard just kicks you out if you have no money. Wait, are you serious? That's like has got a one percent chance of happening. That is bogus. Yeah, you run. <laughs> you don't mess with Paracarry shell shot. Give me money. That is hilarious, how the guy doesn't sell you anything. He doesn't even let you access your storeroom if you don't have money. I come bearing cash. Oh, you're voted, man! You got ten coins! Take a look around, I'll sell you anything you see. Alright. Alright, so I've got that and the four repellent coins. Don't tell King Bowser. I want the life shrooms. So how many life shrooms do I have left? I have three. Oh, just three. Oh. Uh, you know, beer. No, not. You're carrying too much, dude. Here, check the maple syrups. I'm really not going to use them. I'd rather have a life shroom than a maple syrup to use a couple more out of sights on. Why do I have a super soda stocked in there? Was I really planning on using that? The answer is no. Alright, let's hope I can make it through the bombshell bill blaster room. Bet, uh, without taking damage this time. Or while taking minimal damage. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? When was the last time that I saved? Because I actually kind of want to reset that. Whatever. Not worth it. No, I saved when I reached the shop. I don't think I saved after I got the money to do stuff in the shop, though. Nope. Okay. At least I got the first strike that time. Oh, wow. That's right. Power rush, baby.
No. Oh, that's bad. Mm -mm. No, that's not good. That's too risky. From now on, I actually think I'm gonna have to initiate a battle with the... DOG FREAKING GOT IT! Why is it so difficult to jump over those Dane veins? I'm wait- I've literally wasted almost half my life shrooms just trying to get through this Dane room. Possible to defend against those as well. Thank finally that's freaking done and over with. I know there's another life shroom in Peach's castle that I can grab. Not saving. That bombshell bill room, holy cow, that is like really difficult to get through. Unscathed. Alright, we're basically out of the woods now, though. I don't think I'll be venturing back to the store, though. And I'm glad I got those two extra life shrooms now. So I think I... Okay, I do have four. Which is what I was originally going to have. And honestly, I was probably not... I was probably not going to end up using the maple syrup anyway. Thankfully, there's, there are very few enemies in this last stretch of the castle. It's mostly just puzzles and boss fights. Once you clear them, you're gold. Finally approaching Peach's castle. This I will say that. Step one, take a nap. Hey, Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in here but cloves! Please don't open! Oh! Huh? Mario? Oh, sweet! You came to save me, right? Phew! I was so scared. Thanks for coming. While you're here, would you like to take a quick nap? I'll wake you if anyone bad comes in, I swear it. <laughs> yes, please take that nice, cushy nap. 
just to get that extra two star power. <laughs> Indeed, the music is quite ominous. Wait, that's the wrong room. This is the room with the life shroom. Because Peach can't jump, so she can't actually reach it. Alright, so badges I want for this fight. I definitely want Power Rush, I definitely want Mega Rush. Aside from those two, close call is a good option. So let's let's look at the ones we can have. We gotta have close call. Mega Rush, I don't think is gonna be worth it, because I'm not gonna be in peril. Well, actually, his breath attack does 10 damage though. Alright. Vote, people. Do you want Mega Rush, or do you want Close Call? Close Call could make it... me get lucky and avoid his attacks occasionally, whereas Mega Rush, if I'm ever at 1 HP, I'll deal a whole lot more damage. <sighs> it's a toss-up. They both seem good. I've had more luck with Mega Rush, though. Yeah, Nessie votes Mega Rush as well. That's kind of what I was thinking. All right. Watt's a good partner to have. As usual, Mega Rush. Oh! Oh, wait. <laughs> I was about to see the Bowser voice. Mario, help! That's ominous. <laughs> if it isn't my old pal Mario, I've been waiting for you. I'm amazed that you've managed to come this far. How lucky. For me. You've been a distraction for far too long, little man. It'll be a pleasure to squash you personally. Again. Mario! You still haven't fixed the window! <laughs> Fool, you can't beat me! I'm invincible! <laughs> Alright, Mario. Let's see your so-called power. Alright. Let's start off with a chill out. <laughs> the window's still broken. But Bowser probably is like, we're keeping that as a memento of the occasion that I beat Mario. I also realized Deep Focus could be useful for badge as well. Alright, so he's now taken 11 damage and he has 50 HP. All right, enough of that! Now witness the power of this fully operational Star Rod! I don't remember that line. <laughs> I don't remember that line! That sounds like something that, like, they would replace in the randomizer or something. Also, Watt can still damage Bowser when he's invincible. What the- Ow! What the world was that?! Whoa! What happened to the power of that stupid Star Rod? Blah! You cheap little coward! This fight's just beginning! Aw, oh, man. Oh, I forgot he can heal in this fight. Oh, that's bad.
Unless his next attack is the Fire Breath. I, mean, I think I'm actually not going to defend against it on purpose. Yes, please keep doing this. Because that <laughs> that's very nice when you do that, Bowser. Because that basically just gives Watt a free attack. Also, I adore this music. This is like the best Bowser theme ever. Yeah, Mega Rush is only going to be useful if I can defend against the flame attack, which is unlikely. I'm not very good at that. Oh no, he knocked out Watt! Okay. Show him out again. <gasps> oh, yeah, actually, this could work out very well. If he does a bat slap again. Or that, sure. Yeah, let's do that. If he slaps me on the next attack and I de can defend against it, that'll be great, because then I'll be in peril. And then I can use a repel gel and stay in peril for a while. <laughs> Uh-oh. Goodbye. Well, I actually defended against it that time, but unfortunately that didn't do a whole lot of good. That flame breath is going to be a problem. I should have made more life shrooms. Oh, that's annoying. Every time he turns invincible, it negates the chill out. just realized that. So maybe it, I'd be better spent using the star power for things like Smooch. Or like Refresh, actually, would probably be better. Because Refresh also refills my FP, and I could use that to basically indefinitely in the next fight use Out of Sight. Oh, stop it, Bowser. I feel like it's just kind of a back and forth of me debuffing Bowser and him rebuffing himself, though. He's got to be close to being going down. There we go. That's a lot of star points. All right, so the final fight is going to be real tough. I only have two life shrooms left. Gosh, you're not so bad. How'd you get so strong? Still, you're just an annoyance. That was like a warm-up for me. No, leave me alone. Mario, help me. If you want to save Princess Peach, you better follow me. I don't really want to save Princess Peach. I want to take a nap. I didn't expect that first fight to be that difficult, I'll be honest. Considering his second fight, he can literally kill you at any time he wants with like with an attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried for the second phase. I'm wondering if it'll even be possible with just two life shrooms. I do have a lot of repel gel, though. I'm basically going to be reliant on the repel gel, but Bowser can heal himself so much during the second phase. I think any turn he wants, he can heal himself 30 HP. I have a plan. I have a plan. For the next fight, and it involves bow.
My plan for the next fight is basically use out of sight as much as I can, and when I run out of F... When I... After I've used it twice, I use refresh to give my FP back. That way I only have to deal with Bowser's attacks every other turn. Except that also means I'll barely be dead. No, this is gonna work, because the first fate... <laughs> Spoiler alert, the first part of this fight, it's just about survival, not about actually taking out his HP. And I, I want to hold off on using those life shrooms for as long as I can. So nothing came from Mega Rush. That fight. However, I, I, I'm going to plan on using that, because if I can get myself in peril during this fight, and follow it up with a Repel Gel, then I'll basically be, at 1 HP, completely invincible. And I can cause some serious havoc. So that's basically my one hope for this fight. Alright, final save point of the game. Really? Alright, fine. I don't think I've ever used Bo as my main partner in the final fight. It won't last, eventually I'll have to turn to Watt, I think. <laughs> once, it, once the Repel Gel activates, I'll probably turn to Watt. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare! One of the best opening lines, I'd say. You should thank me, Mario. Since you've been my rival for so long, I've arranged a special arena for your defeat. This might be my favorite final Bowser fight, like, ever. <laughs> like it? You're completely trapped! How does it feel, huh? Mario, be careful! <laughs> you fell right into our trap, and you call yourself a hero. <laughs> Did you think we were foolish enough to just sit back and watch as you save the star spirits? I've put together a little surprise for you, a device that increases Bowser's power. King Bowser will be so powerful that not even the power of the star spirits can compare. He'll now truly be invincible, thanks to my wisdom. Are you ready, my king? Then power up. I'm not going to be able to top my original Let's Play of this, though, where I killed Bowser with the pebble. Whoa, yes! Oh, can't me, Koopa! That was incredible! I feel like I'm exploding with power! Now I'll be able to squash this cheeky plumber! Hey, you, Mario! It's not going to be like before, you mustached loser! Prepare to be beat! Love this music. So I'm just really hoping he doesn't use his fire breath in this early stage of the fight. <laughs> Time to increase my power with my good old Star Rod. Oh, never mind. That happened a lot faster than I expected. I think this. I feel like this is the last game where Bowser's like still genuinely intimidating. Like, yeah, he has. He's a comical villain, and he's funny and like kind of buffoony. But this final fight, he is intimidating. Wahahaha, <laughs> you idiot! That weak attack doesn't affect me anymore! Well, don't just stand there staring at the sky, Mario! The Star Beam doesn't work! Think of something! Because the next game was Mario Sunshine, and you fought Bowser when he was in a bathtub, and it had some of the worst voice talent, like, ever. So that, that kind of just ruined the image of Bowser forever. Oh no! Brave Mario! What can I do? If the Wayfiends are going, Bowser will surely defeat him! And he's only level zero! Like, seriously, did he not level up at all? Somebody please help Mario! Not just a bath, a hot tub, that's true. Why do you have to constantly run your mouth? Be quiet! Oh, Princess Peach! Are you alright? I'll get you out of those ropes! Twink! I'm so glad you're okay! You insolent little star kid! How dare you! <laughs> I love this part. You little whippersnapper! You're too young to fight me! 
I, I, I'm not afraid of you! Oh, be careful, Twink! Sunshine, honestly, like, I don't want to say it's a bad game. It's just not that enjoyable to me, if I'm being perfectly honest. There's so many problems with it. <laughs> Did I just feel a breeze? Was that really your attack? Oh, Twink. Kami Koopa's ultimate attack. Create a level one block. Ow! Why, you little? So you can fight a little. Attacks are doing less and less damage, Kami Koopa. And my attacks are doing more and more. Yow! What's going on? Why does it seem like this star kid's getting stronger? You can't kill Twink. Can I have Twink fight Bowser for me? Just the music for the final bosses in this is so good. Actually, this whole game has just a fantastic soundtrack. One of my favorites. It it can't be! My attacks don't work! Oh, oh no! Now I remember! The stars get all their power from ordinary people's wishes! Peach's wishes are giving that little star kid power! Oh, Kid Bowser, I have failed you. Kami Koopa's worse than an average Magic Koopa in terms of stats. Oh yes, we did it, Twink! Now we must save Mario! But, what can I do? I know! Princess Peach, make a wish! Just like you did for me! Make a wish to give more power to the Star Spirits! Think of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, Mario! Make a wish to the stars, thinking of all those fans! If your wish is strong enough, it will reach the Star Spirits and give them strength. Okay, Twink. I'll try. I'll go help Mario. Kimmy Koop is just like, I see stars. Get it? <laughs> it's so appropriate. <laughs> What's the matter, Mario? Feeling a bit under the weather? You ought to work out more. I feel like he was talking to me there, not Mario. Oh my, I feel power flooding into me. Honorable Star Spirits, I'll do what I can to help. Twink? What a surprise. I feel the wishes of Princess Peach and all of the Mushroom Kingdom are giving us power, except for one kid who's wishing for mushroom cake. We'll just ignore him. Perhaps now we can match Bowser's strength. Now, Mario, don't give up. Everyone's behind you. Receive our power and do your very best. Power up the star beam. Uh, can you give me some life shrooms too? Because that would be very nice. Star beam has been upgraded. It's now Peach Beam. Mario can now use Peach Beam. Wh what's going on? Mario, are you still standing? You should just give up. You'll never beat me. Hello, Peach Beam. Huh? You've got to be kidding me! My Star Rod power's gone! Don't be surprised, Bowser. That could have insta-killed me. He's a darn it. I really wanted that to insta-kill him. Uh, part of me doesn't really want to use Chill Out. Because as soon as he makes himself invincible again, that just counteracts the power of it. Oh, 
I'm sick of fun, you know what, Sean? It's fine. <laughs> I forgot his normal attacks deal that much damage. <laughs> Darn it. I really want to try to enter Peril before starting with the Raquel Jail. Sure, keep doing that. Do that before I enter Repel Jail mode, please. I'm so glad I got an extra Repel Jail from the Little Wink Farm. Spent like 200 bucks on that. Totally worth it. Yes! 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 I'm in peril! Wait, I have free life shrooms. Where did I get the extra one? Oh yeah, I picked it up in the library. <laughs> oh Bowser, what were you thinking? <laughs> now he's like, I'm gonna blow you up! Nope, no you're not. <laughs> oh, that lasted a disappointingly short time. He's so determined to beat me up, to get me with the fire breath. <laughs> I thought Repel Gel lasted longer than that. Well, in that case, I'm not sure if I will be able to beat Bowser. It's gonna be tough. Oh! That's an interesting attack I don't think I've seen before. Thank goodness I still have a couple more of those. Alright. My star spirits. Wait, that only takes two star powers since when? I thought that took six. <laughs> Alright, my bad. Hmm. If I got five more HP, I could go back to Bow and do some more out of sight. Star Storm would just be a nice powerful attack. Nah. Chill out. This way I stand a chance of surviving. Ah, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. And that's why I'm glad I used Chill Out, because that would have killed me if I hadn't. Oh, I should have used the jump attack. Yeah, that's why I didn't repel gel, because I was almost certain he was going to do that next. Chances of survival are looking pretty slim. And I'm pretty sure things like Lullaby and Time Out are not going to help. Oh, this is a golden opportunity! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Thank you, Bowser! <laughs> You're the best! <laughs> for doing that attack! Oh, that... I thought I timed that. Mm. Man, Repel Gel is not nearly as good as I thought it was. It just gives you one turn of transparency. Oh, come on, Bowser, you are the worst. I'm actually on the edge of my seat. I have no idea which way this battle is going to go. No idea. Yeah, it would have hurt. That would have certainly insta-killed me. I'm gonna chill him out just to hopefully I can get into danger zone without dying. Or that can happen. He really, really likes using that lightning attack. I'm not sure if that's affected by chill out as well. And the fact that I can't see Bowser's HP means that I have no... Oh, stop it! Bowser, I hate you for doing that. This is definitely going to be the toughest fight. Definitely. That's what I was waiting for. Let's see, 3 plus 2 minus... So I think we'll do the same damage. Oh, thank you for doing that, Bowser. Thank you so much. <sighs> yeah, I actually think, believe it or not, Refresh is the best bane for my buck as far as star power goes. Mainly because it restores my FP and Bo can help me survive. The problem is it actually also restores my HP. Which brings me out of Danger Zone, which means Last Stand doesn't work. And Power Rush doesn't work, so I deal less damage and he's more likely to kill me in one hit. If I have, like, 6 HP, he can kill me in one hit. If I have 5 HP, maybe not. What items do I have? I have one life sh Bother. I'm gonna beat this. Uh, 
If I try this again, I'm switching from uh, Mega Rush to uh, Close Call. Because Mega Rush is nice, but the fact that it's really only helpful for the uh, Repel Gel, and the Repel Gel does not last nearly as long as it should, is kind of a bummer. And Bowser keeps healing himself. You know what? Why not? I got nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think he was gonna fall asleep to that. It was worth a try though. I've tried Power Shock on Bowser before, it's impossible. Goodbye, Ham. I knew I wasn't going to beat that fight. I forgot how much he heals himself. That's... That, that ain't... That, that ain't right. That boy ain't right, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. First game over I've had in this game in a while. Now we try this again, this time with Close Call. Also, this time I'm going to start with Goombario. So that way I can see, I want to be able to see his HP. Man, Repel Gel is not nearly as good as I thought it was. It's almost about anticipating when he's going to make himself invincible. If I can anticipate that more, then I think that'll that's gonna work to my advantage. Okay, Giga Bowser going up against him. Let's see, bow or what? What at least for you? Well, I'm already in peril. I do declare. But if he follows the same route as last time, he'll make himself invincible now. Cool! Nice! I will get full HP again before <laughs> before I have to deal with him. Oh, thank goodness. This part's already just be the same. I thought Bowser only healed himself if you, like, depleted his HP really quickly. Honestly, it's not even really the 10 HP that's killing me. It's the fact that I can only have 3 BP equipped at once. If I could equip more badges, that would be so nice. Yeah, I figure. I think he's scripted to do that on the second turn. It's still nice that I was able to defend against his... If I hadn't done the defense command against his fire attack, which I'm terrible at doing, I would have died and I had to use a life shroom right from the beginning, and that would have been terrible.
Kami Koopa has at most uh, 10 HP. And I think default normal Magic Koopas have 11 HP and they have way more attack power than Kami Koopa has. So, why is Kami Koopa in charge of. Well, is she like the second in command? She's not that good. Still not as hard as the Sticker Star last boss fight, though. Where it's like, oh, I hope you know exactly which special stickers you need to use in exactly which order, because you literally can't beat him without it. I actually, honestly, I really, really liked Sticker Star for the first world. And then I got to the second world, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of done with the sticker gimmick already. Like, I like a lot of its concepts. Like, the concept of paperization and, like, taking, st like, stickers from one part of a level and putting them in another part to, like, solve puzzles. I actually really like that in concept. But the bosses, like, all sucked. And it just, it got old. The, the gimmick got really old after the first world. I wish I liked it more. Because it was a cool concept. It just needed the humor, and, like, there was no reason to fight enemies. Because the only reason, the only thing you got for beating enemies was coins, and the really the only use for coins was buying stickers to use against enemies, to get more coins, to get more stickers, to beat more enemies. It was just a, a, circular, a circular reasoning, so you don't really ever need to fight anything. Except the boss fights. Okay, round two. It had great music, though. Nobody talks about that, but Pit Sticker Star had great music. I'm so bad at defending against that. Chillout can be useful for this fight, too, unless he does his Star Rod power-up. Uh-oh! That's not good. I think I'll repel Joe for this. Will poison still affect me if I'm transparent? That's an interesting question that I've never asked. Yes, it does! Now that's interesting. I also forgot Bowser could poison. Here's something I thought of. Mega Rush plus using Bow and the Repel Gel alternatingly. That could be... Didn't really think of doing that before. Because I like having Bow out, because it extends my life. The problem is, I deal so much less damage when she's out, because Mario has to use a lot of his turns just to do that. And Mario's the only one who can dish out damage at this point. And Bo's out of the action now. Although I love Bo's damage animation, that's funny. Mario also has to keep using Refresh in order for her to keep using Out of Sight.
So I'm almost... Oh, great. That basically just refilled all his HP. Curse you, Bowser. I don't really know what to do for this fight, actually. I don't want to give up on the run. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of ways to beat this guy. Because every time I make a dent in his HP, he just... Ugh. Every time I make a dent in his HP, he just... refills it. And I can't make, like, any headway. Because I have to use too many turns doing other stuff. Something like the stone cap also is not going to help for a fight like this. Because Mario needs to remove his invincibility every so often. My thought process is, if I can get better at predicting when he's going to make himself invincible, I can kind of plan my turns around that. Quick change would be such a nice badge to have for this fight. So nice to have quick change for this fight, but alas. It's about time that that activated. I was about to say, Close Call has done squat for me, so I will not be equipping that next time. Getting is bow is a mistake to use. I think he's gonna make himself invincible next turn. Or refill his HP. This battle's not over yet! So I, bas I basically guarantee I'm not winning this one. I can practically guarantee it. There you go. However, this does give me an idea for how to do it. I'm going to try it again. Close Call did basically nothing for me the entire time. I really feel like I need Mega Rush. Because what are the, what are the other options? Actually, hmm. Now that's interesting, actually. Jump Charge could actually be useful, potentially.
Because what I'm almost thinking is Mega Rush and Power Rush, they don't stack. So do I need both of them? I feel like to beat Bowser, I kind of need Mega Rush, but not Power Rush. In which case, I could take do Jump Charge, stack my Jump, and then just do a butt ton of damage. Oh wow, Bow keeps me safe, and I can use Repel Gel. Because Bowser tends to use his Fire Breath at the beginning. Yeah, so I'm going to try that. Because realistically, if I want to beat Bowser, I need to do a whole lot of damage. I need to just, just do a ton of damage to it. Which means I need to utilize Mega Rush to its highest ability. If I'm us utilizing Mega Rush, Power Rush has no place. Because they don't stack. So I need something else to give me an edge, and Jump Charge is basically my only other option. That also requires me using Refresh more, darn it. Oh, this is where the only free BP thing is killing me! Must say, I do wish that I could. I was because I'm playing this on the actual N64. I kind of wish I was playing on an emulator so I could make save states, so I didn't have to play this first part of the fight over and over again. I also can't keep this up all night. I do have to stop relatively soon. I got work tomorrow, and I still need to do stuff like take a shower and get to bed at a decent time. So I'll give it, I'll give it this attempt, and I might try once more if this doesn't work out. If I get like a good idea on, it. if I have a, <laughs> after this attempt, if I have like, if I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to beat it, then I'll try it once more. Otherwise, this is going to be my last attempt. And I don't know, I might come back and stream this later. Maybe I'll, like, grind for more items off-screen or something. <laughs> I don't... I really don't want to have to grind for little winks. I very well could grind for little winks, though. Because Repel Gel does seem to be a bit more useful in life streams. I feel like you can do more damage with Repel Actually, no, you can definitely do more damage with Repel Gel while with Mega Rush. <sighs> My problem is to getting into peril basically requires me to defend against Bowser's Flame Breath attack when I'm at full HP. Which is really difficult to do. There's a very narrow window that you can actually defend against that. I knew this fight was going to be tough. I didn't realize it was going to be this tough, though. Oh, Bowser, I failed you now. 
crap. I suppose I could also try something else. I could just bring a bunch of honey supers. Because that would give me full HP and full FP every time I use one. Nah. Nah. That's not worth it. Because then I will never be in danger to be able to use Power Rush, Last Stand, and Mega Rush. Actually, is Last Stand even worth it? That's something I haven't thought about, but Last Stand really doesn't seem to be worth it, because generally speaking, if I'm in danger, anything's gonna kill me in one hit, regardless of the half. Hmm. Something to think about. Predicting Bowser's going to do his Flame Breath next. In which case, I want Bo to be out. Well, not quite. In which case, now let's chill out. chill out and have to- Oh, yes! Yes! This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, we are in a pretty good spot now, folks. I am in peril. I have all my repel gel. I have all my life shrooms. <laughs> and Crazy Bus will take us home. Now, here's the thing. It seems to me that Bowser... Every third turn, it seems like Bowser does his invincibility move, so I'm predicting he's going to be turn invincible on this next turn. Yes! Correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like every three turns, he turns invincible. Thanks, Nessie! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's actually true, because it felt like there were a few times where he did three flame breaths in a row, but that might just be wishful thinking. Oh shoot, I just realized. Refresh brings me out of peril. Once again, I'm predicting he is going to turn invincible on his turn, or heal himself. Okay, that seems to be a pattern. I very well could be wrong about it. But it seems to be a pattern. Okay, yeah, if this doesn't work out, I, I really don't know what's going to work out. Because <laughs> this has basically been a perfect fight. He hasn't even healed himself yet, which I guarantee he's going to do on his next turn. <sighs> well, not guarantee, but I, I'm fairly certain he's going to do on his next turn. This battle's not over yet! Oh! Well, alright, that's a... That's a happy surprise.
Bowser's being pretty nice this time around. Wow! Bowser's being really nice this time around. Alright. Predicting he's going to make himself invincible on his next turn. Yeah, I think that was... Yes! <laughs> okay, I think I'm just getting really stinking lucky, to be perfectly honest. He's not healing himself. I don't know what's going up. Maybe I just got really unlucky the last few times? I don't know, but I am not complaining. In the end, it all comes down to RNG. That could be a case, because I have... Yeah, if I, if I don't beat him this time, I'm just giving up. Because I have literally had perfect luck the entire fight. I could not have asked for a more cooperative Bowser. Watch him heal himself. Oh my gosh. Alright. You're in that one, Bowser, but I think you are screwed now. So long, gay Bowser! Woohoo! <laughs> so that time he chose to never heal himself. I don't know... Why? But okay! RNG for the win! Oh no! Mario defeated me again! He always defeats me! This time I became invincible! And I still couldn't beat him! Darn it! Oh! That was the hardest thing to do in the whole game. Without a doubt. That really just felt like it was down to luck though, because on, on every other. The first two times he kept healing! Every time he. Every time I damaged him enough, he would just heal it right back. <laughs> But that time he never healed even once. That that was insane. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I took back the star rod. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mario. That's actually Kami Koopa. <laughs> Mario, I knew you would save me. Thank you, Mario. Oh, should I do should I do my best peach impression? <laughs> you are a super player. Thank you. I appreciate it. Huh? Well, I'm awake. Huh? What's going on? This isn't part of my plan. <laughs> the, the place is blowing up around him. Okay, he's just real casual, like, going over. Yo, Kimmy Koopa, what's up all the shaking? Ah, uh, your kingship, the battle with Mario was so intense that my device for increasing your power seemed to have started malfunctioning. Uh, it's entirely screwed up and its power appears to be heading back into your castle. I hate to tell you this, but both your castle and this spot right here are about to explode. We must flee, my evil king. We have no choice. What? Are you... Really? That's a big problem. We gotta get out of here, right? Huh? <laughs> oh man. A level zero run. That that was really fun up until Bowser's Castle. <laughs> I am so glad I got the extra repel gel from the little wink farm. That was just a spur-of-the-moment thing. I'm like, I got 200 coins, let's try to get another one. And I did. If I hadn't, I, that, I'm not sure if I would have won. Although I think I still had two or three life shrooms left. Whew. <laughs> it was like, do we sell this lullaby for a bit there? Oh, man. But most of this game was really fun to do at level zero. Like, the bosses were actually tricky this time around, but it was good. A good kind of tricky. The last fight was not the good kind of tricky, it was just up to luck, basically. Mario, thank you! You got back the Star Rod, and you did it at such a low level that we are all so proud of you. Yes, we are! Thank you, Mario. 
when you look at the night sky, you'll know the glittering stars are praising for you for your courage. I don't know if that's what that guy sounds like. You really took it to Bowser, Mario. Really socked it to him. What impressive strength. I knew you could do it. Mario, don't think we don't know how hard you've worked for us all. Yeah, I died the whole bunch. <laughs> it must have been difficult. We won't forget your efforts. I like to imagine Mario just did this on a dare. Or it's like, hey Mario, can you do it without ever actually like leveling up or using these badges? Like, I got all these cool badges. I'm only going to use three of the cheapest ones. <laughs> the Bowser's like, no, oh, you're just showing off. I hope Bowser learns something from all this. Perhaps he'll behave from now on. Although I'd say the chances of that are pretty slim. Ah, well. No words can express completely how thankful we are for all you've done. Hope has returned both to Star Haven and all the Mushroom Kingdom. We're in your debt, Mario. Ah, uh, Twink, I must say you really rose to the occasion. <laughs> it's, it's time we went to Star Haven. I would like to see a game that Twink returns and like he's one of the star spirit. He's one of the new star spirits. That could be interesting. I want another real Paper Mario game, though. No Super Paper Mario, not Sticker Star, not Color Splash, not Paper Jam, like the first and second game. I'd like to thank you too, Mario. See you on Rainbow Road in N64 game. Never mind, I gotta go too. Bye, Princess Peach. Later. Okay, Nintendo, on the off chance that you watch this. Make a, a legit Paper Mario game like the first or Thousand Year Door. I guarantee it's going to sell well. So many people will be hyped for that. Eld Star, Miss Star, Scholar, Mamar, Kalmar, Muscular, and Clever. Bring back a proper Paper Mario game, I agree. And Twink. And I like how Peach's Castle just floated. Bowser's Castle blew up. Peach's Castle, even though it was closer to the battle arena, completely unharmed. Oh, also, this has the best credits of any video game ever. Like, no joke. It's it's actually the best credits. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the Star Rod back from Bowser. You could have visited me, like, once during the game, but you didn't. <laughs> Sounds like another adventure in the books. The castle's back to normal and everyone's returned safely. You came through in the end, just like you. I bet you still feel like you're on an adventure. That reminds me, the pals you traveled with. I wonder what they're up to. Well, Gumbario's playing tag. Gumbario! Oh, wait, that, that's the wrong voice. That's Paracary. <laughs> he has the most annoying voice ever. Hey, Paracary, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Ha <laughs> I sure am. This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Mario. It's from Princess Peach. This is not the Paracary voice I gave him earlier. Also, I, I used to think he had Princess Leia hair when I was a kid, but that's actually just, like, a hat. Huh? For Princess Peach? Whoa! What you ready to be for? Read and find out! I don't read other people's letters. I just drop them. Thanks, Paracary. See ya! Good Mario, what did you get written to? Oh, jeeper, jeepers. <laughs> that's not a word that's been used this century. <laughs> I get to go to the party at Princess Peach. Hey, Bombat. I like your ponytail. Hey, Paracary, tell this to my husband. Tell him he sucks. <laughs> Paracary can't come here, Lady Bo. I stole the letter from him for you. Ha 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 ha. Hey, Watt. <laughs> I like how Watt's a baby, and she's like the most useful party member. Shut up, it was the kids! We're going to the castle, all of us! The Peach is like, I only invited sushi, but okay. Yo, man, I, I can't, I'd love to go to the party, but I'm hanging here with my girlfriend. Who I thought was his mom on my first playthrough. <laughs> now then, gentlemen, it's time to scale the frosty heights to the Crystal Palace. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of guiding us. <laughs> Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me! I know the place front to back! Cooper! Why do I keep giving him this weird voice? <laughs> huh? Paracary, what brings you here? Crow, I finally made it! I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. This is, this is like Southern Goofy. I have a letter for you from Princess Peach! Oh, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, wow! This is an invitation to a huge party at Princess Peach's castle! It's directly from the princess herself! It's got her signature on it and everything cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big, but... But I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado. I should stay here and... Oh, Poppycock! Boulder Dash! Don't be daft, dear boy! Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite, and this is a golden opportunity. Go to the party this instant. Don't spare me another thought. It would ruin the party if the hero of Koopa Village... Nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom wasn't even there. Cooper, I used you, like, twice. <laughs> huh? I knew you'd say that, Professor Colorado. You're so kind and generous. I'll do it. I hope you guys will be alright without me. I'm gonna party! He's gonna party like it's 1999. <laughs> oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. <laughs> Don't bother coming back here, you wandering buffoon. What a good for nothing huff has been. That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you set out on this expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? <laughs> yup. Boy, was she so furious. <laughs> Goofy Paracarry has got to be the worst fan ever. Oh, good gracious! P -p 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 Paracarry, why in the world did you tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy. I must go back home with all due speed. <laughs> the other two guys are just like, um. All right, guess we'll just chill out here. That was a pun. Huh? Did you hear something outside? I think I did. Oh, and this is the part where Luigi reads our own private mail. Hey, bro, guess what? Paracarry stopped by to drop off a party invitation from Princess Peach. He said that he's also invited to <laughs> that he's also invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd see us in the castle when we arrived. Now we'd better go to. Oh no, that's the beginning of the game where he reads our private letter. I assume that was an invitation for both of us, so that's fine. Okay, listen, Mario, I'm just gonna run ahead. There's something important that I have to do. What is it? Sorry, bro, it's top secret. <laughs> now, we could talk to all the NPCs, but... You can watch my Let's Play of that if you want to see that. I just want to hurry up to the credits, which are so amazing. The credits are... I'm not joking when I say the credits are one of the best parts of the game. Such a strong finish. Mario, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach! They knew she was coming. Oh, I should try to do another Princess Peach voice. Greetings to all of you! I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. That's the worst. No, I'm going back to normal. <laughs> Let's go! The Star Rod, stolen by Bowser, has been returned to its rightful place in Star Haven. Peace has once again been restored to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above us, stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems to be sending us our fair thanks. Mario. Goomba, Mario, Cooper, Bombette, Bo, Watt, Sushi, Lackluster, not Paracarry, and everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom, we've regained peace because of all your efforts. Thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I hope the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come, perhaps forever. This is my heartfelt wish. So, let's celebrate! Enjoy the festivities, everyone! Mario saved the day, and he did it at the lowest, like, possible level. Just to show off. <laughs> this is the top secret thing Luigi was doing. He gets to lead the credits parade! How many other games give you an like, all of the characters from the game in a giant parade just for you as thanks for beating the game? The answer is none, as far as I know. With an epic remix of all of the different tracks of the game put together. Seriously, can someone name a better credit sequence than this? Oh, La Molana for one? That does that too? Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the partner float is pretty awesome. <laughs> Except Bo, Watt, Paracarry, and Lack of Lester don't actually get to ride in it. It's like, you guys can fly, there's not enough room.
the little baton toadettes are so cute. Chuck Quizmo and Vanity. <laughs> like Vanity and also Vanna White. It's great. Of course, the Koopa Bros are like the best antagonists in the game. <laughs> oh good, Colorado and his wife together on the the tuna. I mean the whale. My favorite part of the song coming up here. That remix of Dry Dry Outpost is fantastic. And there's Tutton Koopa. Still getting chased by his chomp. He was... Ironically, he was probably the second hardest fight, because I actually died to him. He and Bowser were the only two fights I actually, like, had a game over on. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, Bazaar was a girl. <laughs> So if there's anyone out there who hasn't played Paper Mario yet, get on that. This is my number two favorite game of all time. Number one is Ocarina of Time. One of the reasons I got so into the Ocarina of Time randomizer. It's so good. And I really never get tired of it. <laughs> oh yeah, Goomba Kane. Forgot about you. And this is the most adorable float. The Yoshi float. Raphael Raven's like, hey, pay attention to me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and my favorite boss, the Lava Piranha. Although in the level zero run, my favorite boss actually might have been Huff and Puff. That was actually a really fun fight to do on level zero. And that fight taught me how good chill out is. <laughs> <laughs> Gourmet guy. You kind of want to try one of these runs now? I mean, you can. I feel like doing this for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door would be way harder, though. Like, way harder. Because, like, I, can, I personally consider Paper Mario, this one, to not be very hard. Like, I thought it was kind of hard on my first playthrough because I didn't know you could do, uh, like, the defense commands. I didn't know you could actually defend against attacks. So that made fights like the Crystal Cane way more difficult than they needed to be. But even then, it still was it was far from undoable, and if you're just playing casually, it's a pretty easy game, all things considered, but Thousand Your Door is actually pretty tricky. Yeah, I, I don't really know how you could do Thousand Your Door level zero. Bowser. Who invited Bowser into the parade, or did Bowser just crash the parade? Parade's not over, though. The final boss is a nightmare even if you are at, like, a high level. So I can't even imagine what it would be like doing it at 10 HP, 5 FP, and 3 BP. I know there are some sadists who have actually done that. I think there are some sadists who did the Pit of 100 Trials that way as well. I have no idea how, but I'm sure there are YouTube videos. I will not be doing that. And my favorite floats upcoming, with also freaking amazing music.
I would get I legit get goosebump goosebumps every time I get to that part of the parade. <laughs> All the like mysterious Merlin like uh, characters with the awesome music in the background. This is a fun stream. I'm really glad I got. <laughs> this is a good like test stream to do at my condo. It seems like it worked for very well. And I want to now that I actually have my own place and like I'll, more free time now because I <laughs> my commute's like 200% shorter now. I want to try streaming like on a regular schedule. I don't have the schedule set yet. But right now I'm kind of thinking Friday, Sunday, and Wednesday will be my stream days. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because Sunday I have like the whole day open, so I could do like a shorter game or I could do a longer stream. So for example, like we can do the Ocarina of Time randomizer stream this Sunday. I think Friday I'm going to do like Fast Friday where I'll try speedrunning something. So I think this Friday I'm going to try speedrunning Cuphead actually. I've been playing that a lot. And I actually, I mean, I'm not a great speedrunner at it, but I can actually get through the game pretty quickly now, so... I think that's what we're gonna do on Friday. And then now that this is done, on Wednesday, there's a couple different options. I kinda wanna try streaming Redwall again. Because that was a fun game, and it seemed like a, a lot of love was put into that, and I do like the premise. So I might do that. I also... Well, I don't have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle up here yet, but I put that on my Steam wishlist. I didn't realize that was on Steam. If I get that on Steam, I might start streaming Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Mainly Chow Garden, but also some of the extra emblem stuff. That would be kind of cool. Or I could just stream random games. I don't know yet. I'll figure that out in the meantime. Thanks for watching, everyone. This was... This is a whole lot of fun. Also very frustrating at the end, but this is a lot of fun. I'm really glad I did this. Any excuse to play Paper Mario is a good one, in my opinion. I'm glad you all could make it out tonight. This is... This is great fun.